Warriors Unite! Back with another episode of Vigor Warriors 2 and the 1% Club. Welcome back, my friends. I know it's been a, a few days since I did one. Uh, things have been hectic and busy, but we're moving on. And just remember, guys, always continue to conquest yourselves. Conquest things around you so that you become the best high-value male you can become. So we're going to talk about becoming a high-value male and also females. I don't want to forget our female friends as well. But also kind of focusing on trying to become the most excellent high-value warrior you can become. And that's important to kind of to look at. So hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for the comments, feedbacks. I did catch up a little bit on some shout-outs. And we're going to talk about the noble person and how semen retention helps the known person become more stoic and be able to have self-control. So we'll talk about that a little bit. Uh, a few shout outs. Uh, Molo, thank you, my friend. Greed, thank you for your comment. PM, thank you. Um, uh, Moore, thank you for your comment. Uh, I'm sorry, Mark, thank you for your comment. Talking about controlling anger. Good job of that. Continue to do that. We'll talk about that a little bit in a second. My voice, thank you. Uh, G... GY Fanboy, thank you. Brother Boldly Official, thank you. Optical Man, thank you for your comment as always. Stunna, keep going, my friend. Even though we may have a relapse, we have to keep going. And Bad Boy, thank you. Keep going as well. John the Dawn, John Jennings, SR, TKO, and Nicholas, uh, Nicholas as well. Thank you, Nicholas Rock. Thank you for your comments. So thank you guys for your comments. And we're going to use a quote by... Um, a philosopher, uh, Zunki, uh, I think it's called X-U-N-Z-I. So thank you for the comment from, um, so thank you for the uh, quotation here. But the quotation is this, noble people, and we're at two minutes here. So no person, a noble person uses things. The lesser man is used by things. So let's kind of, con let's kind of focus on that a little bit. I always like to kind of take quotes at times, things you guys are asking me, uh, and also things that I see out there. So this comment's a very good one. We're talking about this idea of self-control. So senior retention is the first step in the process. Once you do that, you have to kind of go back to a lot of the thoughts about how important are things. With self, I know from my experiences, when you have retention, your whole life changes. All of a sudden, you feel more confident because you're keeping all of your energy inside of you. Now what you're gonna be able to do is your resistance to diseases, things like that become a lot stronger. Your tolerance of stress level becomes a lot better. You're more confident. And all of a sudden you see that in a lot of things you do. And now you're willing to say, okay, I want to try other levels of self-control. If I can control myself not to release anytime I want to, and I have a long streak, and I think my streak is over 1,200 or close to 1,200. I think it's a little bit over 1,200 now. That's going to continue. And I know someone asked me whether I'm going to go for 12 years, and I'm trying to go for 12 years. But as time goes on, and then obviously I'm 62, so the older you get, it becomes a little bit easier in some ways, but also a little more trickier in some other ways as well. Because sometimes you're surprised, and as long as you have that strong um, ability to have sexual energy, you're going to be tempted at times. And especially a lot of young women, in my case, attractive women, you know, they're still talking, they're still trying to kind of give me attention, they want my attention. Those type of things, and I've been married for 30 years, and it's amazing to me this is happening to me at 62. But it goes back to the whole semen retention. They sense your power. They sense you're a man above men because you're able to control yourself. And women, they love a challenge, right? They want you to chase them. They want you to give them attention. And if you're focusing on yourself, you're not focusing on them, they're going to come after you. And of course, that happens all the time. So the key is continuing to focus on yourself. Now, obviously, if you're in that, that situation where you want a, male, a female, you want a companion, it's a great way to do that. Continue work on yourself. And if females are chasing you, they're less likely to play games. 
They're less likely to uh, not to be vested in a relationship because they're the one that chose you. And again, if they made that mistake, they're not going to admit to making mistakes. So they're going to hold on to you as long as possible. So if you like the person and they're chasing you, good chance that you're going to stick with that person because that person's not going to change their opinion of what they thought and because they're going to look bad themselves and they're not going to admit that. So in many cases, it's probably better just to do your own thing and what ends up happening, happening. Now this goes back to the stoic issue as well. When it comes to noble men, and we're all noble warriors out there, we're noble warriors, we know that as time goes on, we have to learn to detach from things. And so the noble man actually can use things to help them because they're not being controlled by those things. So we're talking about money. The no man knows how to use money to accomplish things they want to accomplish. Skills, if you're in management, business, you know you're directing people. I used to direct people for 30 years. You're able to work with people and put people in positions to help them. I used to coach as well, sports like football, different things like that. You're, you're, you're putting people in positions. You're not being controlled by those things. You're controlling those things. Guys, the biggest thing to look at is trying to control the things you can. The whole stoic thing as I'm working through it more and working with it, it's, it's got a lot of enlightenment here. To me, my mind focuses on some great tenets here. Marcus Aurelius basically said, and Epictetus as well, that basically you have to learn not to uh, react to things, allow things to happen, focus on those things that you can control. Don't worry and get upset about things you can't control. And that's the key in a lot of things we're talking about, whether it's the relationships you have with people, whether it's business situations, whether it's fortune or ill fortune, you're going to treat that the same way. Um, there's a famous poem by Ruth R. Kipling who's talked about if and one of those lines says that if you can look at success and failure at the same coin that you don't react to it and the stoic way is very popular and I'm not sure if it's very po it's, it's a very strong way to behave because in a sense nothing should phase you God is with you so you should not have your creators with you so you should not have a problem reacting to things if you take on this kind of mantra, this idea that you're not going to let anything bother you. You're going to continue working on your goals, being persistent. Things may get in your way. Things may stop you for a period of time, but you're never going to give up on a goal. In the meantime, when it comes to retention, you're going to become stronger and stronger because those are the goals you're setting. A goal you should have is a physical goals, spiritual goals, intellectual goals. You should have goals for things in different areas that become better in all the years of your life. And I don't care if you're 25, 45, 62, myself, 92, you have to continue having goals. Now, as time goes on, you're probably gonna eventually you know, you die in your sleep, achieving goals. And those are the types of things that I believe your creator, the God, Put us in the earth for to create until we pass away until god takes us and therefore he'll use us for a different purpose but you continue to produce you continue to protect you continue to, to provide for things because that's the role of the male in all species not only the humans but all species when you look at really a male the male is there because the male has those skills and ability to protect and provide and those type of things don't change. And I don't care what species you're talking about. Those are always still prevalent. And so the male has to realize that. The females realize that. Obviously, they're looking for protection, especially if they have children. If they're trying to find things to protect them, they understand that males are good at their protection. And that's something they're going to focus on. So as you look at this whole idea, the noble person, the person who has those high values, high value male, they're in self-control. They're able to use things around them to make things better for themselves. 
And as a result of that, they're able then to achieve things and continue moving on and not be phased by things that happen to them, good or bad. I mean, I always remember, once again, I talked about this the other day, I always liked the the, the Minnesota Vikings. I love their their, their uh, uniforms back in the, when I was growing up in the, in the late 60s, early 70s. But I also, what I loved is his coach. This guy, Bud Grant, you guys may remember him, very stoic on the sidelines. This person, no matter if they won or lost, and the Vikings did lose Super Bowls and things like that, they probably weren't the best team most of the time. But he, you could not tell by looking at him. I used to love the fact that he would sit there and look stoic no matter what happened. He was like, and I don't know for sure if he believes in stoicism. I'm, I'm guessing he does because nothing seemed to face him. I think he's in his 90s now, still going along and still kind of, you know, being that type of person that is a true warrior. And so whether or not you lose or win on a battlefield, a football, whatever it might be, you still act stoic. And this is the key to it. You don't let your emotions go better of you. Now, I've had that problem for years. I am actually getting better with this. Retention's helping me, becoming less angry, less emotional, and I'm getting to the point where I'm becoming more successful because of it as all. Well. And you feel a good sense. When this happens to you, you feel a good sense of self-control. And that's what you're shooting for. So I love this quote. Noble person uses things. The lesser man is used by things. So if you're not in control of yourself, others will control you. There's no doubt about that. They'll take your money. They'll take your energy. They'll, they'll suck you dry. Vampire suckers are around. So be careful, my friends. Be careful. All right, my friends. So another one. I'm glad to get back with you guys. We'll start trying to do some more as soon as we can. Until then, remember two things, my friend. First of all, every day is a new day to a great warrior. And again, guys, this is a continual, continual fight every day for our own self-control. Don't allow other people to control you. Stay in control and continue to.